Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is Jahangir Sumro, Assistant Professor and Principal Investigator of Hardware and Loop Lab, Electrical Engineering Department, Sakharai University. Uh, we have successfully set up and installed the latest software used for National Instrument Hardware and Loop Laboratory, that is NI Very Stand Add on Power Electronics. So, we will discuss how can we use this software and for the first for the for the discussion purpose we will discuss that how can we use this software like we have designed this inverter three phase inverter circuit in MATLAB Simulink and here you can see that this passive filter is installed for filtering purpose and this this is circuit is having RL load so this is a three phase two level circuit having six switches so I will lo load this circuit into my uh, PXI setup which is shown over here in NI PXI alright so let us discuss the steps for this you need to open very stain software and after opening very strange software I'm opening the project and then I'm clicking the configure button to open system explorer setting here I need to give the PXI address of my computer which is in my case this is a IP address of my PXI which is communicating with, with my server computer and it has FALAP operating system this is the power electronics add-on custom configuration which I am using here we will open the circuit model and we will load this three phase inverter circuit which I showed previously this one now it will take one to two minutes maybe to load this circuit now the good thing about this very strain add-on is that there is no need of lab view you can design the controller and the circuit both in the MATLAB without designing rapid control prototyping in lab view so those researchers or faculty members or students who are not familiar with LabVIEW and they are good at MATLAB they can bypass LabVIEW easily now the circuit is loaded just you have to refresh click the refresh button now the good another good thing about this very strain add-on is that now this very strain add-on gives you facility it is open electrical hardware solver it can directly take the circuit from MATLAB no FPG expert is needed no VADL programming needed it will directly show the real time simulation results by using the Opal RT software open electrical software hardware after that I am going to sources as my circuit has in this case U01 and U02 two DC sources so here I give them default value of 110 volt DC then I am going to the switches and I am giving SPWM signals to these six switches as shown here so these are the gate signals alright SPWM0 complement is given to lower switch complement is given to lower switch then SPWM1 and its complement is given to this one SPWM2 signal, sig uh, get signal and then complement is given to this switch as shown here after this setting these are the measurements I am interested to see as in this circuit these Y01, Y02, Y03 these show 3 phase output voltages and Y04, Y05, Y06 shows the output current of my 3 phase inverter 
So I am interested to see these results. Therefore, I have set up these things. All right. Now I am setting the SPWM carrier frequency, which is 5000. Modulation index is one. Frequency engine, my fundamental frequency of the reference signal is 60 Hertz in this case. And there are three reference signals required because it's a three phase inverter. Frequency engine is zero, phase is zero. And this one will have phase, which will be 120. And this one will have three, this will be a minus 120. The three sinusoidal reference signals 120 apart. After these settings, you need to save it and close. And then going to this and you have to deploy your model in this NI very stand software. Now deploying in the, is in the process, it, it will first compile your circuit and then after compilation it will load the circuit. It will take maybe one to one and a half minute. Let's have a look. Now things are processing. Now gathering target dependency file. File successfully deployed to the target. Now it has started deployment group one. Just very soon the compilation will complete. So target synchronization complete. Now you can see the results. I have connected a chart here. First I am seeing, let us say, first I am seeing waveforms, output voltage waveforms. So these are the output voltage waveforms of my three phase inverter. So these are the results for the output voltages. And then these are the results for my output current. Current is purely sinusoidal because passive filter is installed and is working satisfactorily. So this is how we use a uh, very standard on. In my later videos I will further discuss its more features and results for different circuits. Thank you very much.